fascism is basically the name for an economic system, even though the word has been used for many things. But in economics, fascism is when the government is called in, the government steps in to reinforce, to support, to sustain private capitalist enterprises. You see, those private capitalist enterprises left to themselves are falling apart. They can't sell their goods. They can't maintain their job roles. They lay people off. They cut back. They plunge people into a situation of no job, no income, no prospects. It's a mass suffering. And the capitalist system is called into question when people see it performing this badly. That's what happened in 1929 that led into the Great Depression of the 1930s. And that is what happened in 2008 that led to the last 10 years of economic crisis, of political upheaval, where the strong men could emerge and have an audience, etc. The fascist solution to capitalism's breakdown is to bring in the government to support private capitalist enterprises. It is sometimes referred to as a merging of the government and private enterprise, not to go to another system, but to keep the existing system going. What does the government do in fascism? Well, it helps private capitalists by getting rid of the trade unions and replacing them with its own organizations run by the government controlled so that they support rather than challenge private capitalists. Here's a second one. The government comes in and does for private companies what they couldn't do for themselves. It rearranges foreign trade so that domestic capitalists have an easier time selling their goods abroad and blocking imports so they can sell to their own people because the government has prevented imports from coming in, say by, hmm, I don't know, tariffs would be one way to arrange this sort of thing. The government comes in and deregulates. That's a clever term to say that the regulations that are costly to capitalists are removed and the regulations that help them are enhanced. That's typically what fascists do. And they typically like to boost the economy by an enormous expenditure on the military, putting people to work in the military and putting people to work producing the guns, the bullets, the planes, and the uniforms of those people in military as a tremendous way to stimulate and support and to profit private capitalist enterprises. Military and capitalists, government and capitalists merging together to run the system in a way that builds up capitalism, captures what has to be done that the capitalists couldn't do for themselves, and makes the system have some more life. It's all about saving capitalism.